Good evening, primary. Tonight I'm going to be reading you this story. It's called The Princess and the Pig. It's a really funny one and it's by Jonathan Emmett. Not that long ago, in a kingdom not far from here, a farmer was travelling home with a cartload of straw. The farmer was so poor that he didn't have a horse and had to pull his own cart. In the back of the cart lay a tiny pink piglet. Nobody wanted to buy the piglet at market, but the farmer had taken pity on it. I'll call you Pigmella, he decided, as this seemed like a good name for a pig. It was a hot day and the farmer stopped to rest in the shade of a great castle. Far, far above him on a high balcony, a queen was inspecting her new baby daughter. The queen was so rich that she had seven nannies and didn't have to look after her own child. The queen picked the baby out of her cot and held her at arm's length. I'll call it Priscilla, she decided, as this seemed like a good name for a princess. A moment later, a wet squelching noise came from the baby's nappy, closely followed by an awful smell. Yuck! shrieked the queen, dropping the baby and running off to find the royal nanny. She left so quickly, she didn't notice that she had dropped the baby over the edge of the balcony. Down, down, down went the baby into the farmer's cart and up, up, up flew the piglet into the princess's cot. When the queen returned and found the piglet lying where the baby should have been, she let out an even louder shriek and fainted in the nanny's arms. The king thought he knew what had happened. A bad fairy has done this, he explained. The fairy wasn't invited to the princess's christening, so she's turned the baby into a piglet to get her revenge. It's the sort of thing that happens all the while in books. Meanwhile, the farmer had returned home and was startled to discover a baby girl lying where the piglet should have been. The farmer's wife thought she knew exactly what had happened. A good fairy has done this, she explained. The fairy knew how poor and honest we are and how badly we want a child. So she's turned the piglet into a baby. It's the sort of thing that happens all the while in books. And so, without a second thought, the baby became Pigmella, the farmer's daughter, and the piglet became Priscilla, the princess. It wasn't long before Pigmella was able to eat, walk and dress all by herself. And the farmer and his wife soon forgot that she had ever been a pig. Things were not so easy for Priscilla, but the king and queen never let anyone forget that she really was a princess. As Pigmella grew older, she grew clever and beautiful and was admired by everyone she met. As Priscilla grew older, she grew not so clever and not so beautiful and was avoided by everyone she met. Then one day, the farmer's wife overheard some of the castle servants about talking about the princess who had turned into a pig. It's just like what happened to Pig Mella, she told her husband, only the other way round. The farmer soon guessed what had happened. The princess and the pig must have swapped places somehow, he explained. It's the sort of thing that happens all the while in books. The poor farmer and his wife were very unhappy. They loved Pigmella, but they knew they must return her to her rightful home. Pigmella was also unhappy. She loved the farmer and his wife and did not want to live with anyone else. But they were an honest family. So the next day they went to the castle to see the king and queen. The king and queen listened to the farmer's story but they didn't believe it. What nonsense, cried the queen. Ridiculous, laughed the king. This girl may be clever and beautiful, but she does not look or speak like a proper princess. 
The queen thought she knew what was happening. It's a trick, she declared. This girl is just a farmer's daughter pretending to be a princess in the hope she might marry a prince. It's the sort of thing that happens all the while in books. And so Pigmella returned home with the farmer and his wife where she married a young shepherd and lived happily ever after and never once wished that she had been a princess. Priscilla also got married to a handsome prince, although he had to be talked into it. Priscilla was changed into a pig by a bad fairy, the king explained. But once you kiss her, the spell will be broken and she will turn back into a beautiful princess, added the queen. It's the sort of thing that happens all the while in books, they assured him. But unfortunately for the prince, it's not the sort of thing that happens in this particular book. I'm really hoping that you enjoyed that story tonight. Sleep tight, everyone, and we'll see you soon. Good night.